Hello everyone, welcome to another fantastic week here at Tath and Yoko. We're going to give you a warehouse update. We're going to give you stories about what's coming and new. And we're going to talk about all kinds of cool Gene and Jojo facts and factoids. So I just want to say a big thank you everyone for tuning in this week. As always, we'll start off with a quick fit check. So it's me here, Terry, um, going for a little bit of summer fun because it is October outside, but it is like 30 degrees here. So that weather's got me thinking about pumpkin spice margaritas. That's right, I'm in my jorts. So starting from bottom to top, Shit. we're gonna go for my Altama Maritime Assault Boots. I love these things here. They're a lot of fun for the white feet boys out here. Bare leg up to the jorts with my Karuri 10 ounce salvage here. I've had these jorts for two years, getting some miles. They are held onto my body by this lovely thick belt here in veg tan, beautifully patinaed, my favorite piece from the collection. Up top, I got my Velvachine pocket tee. I got this before I even worked for the company. This is going on over two years strong. Countless washes, it's a great working pair. So on the arm, my beloved G-Shock GWM 5600. Over 10 years, original battery, love the bits. And finally protecting my dome from those harmful sunny UV rays is our baseball cap in the heavy denim. So that's Terry, that's what I'm wearing here today. We'll go straight to Vincenzo, young Vincenzo. Hello everyone, Vincent back. Was I in the last episode? Yeah, you were. I don't know, sometimes you're like, I'm here, I'm not, just because I'm in the store. It's hard to remember. Justin should be here, but he's in the store right now. Um, so unfortunately, um, he's not. So we'll start with me, here we go. I have my new Hugo Boss uh, frames because my other glasses, well, I broke like a million times, super glued them just because I was a little too lazy to, to get new glasses and I didn't want to wait. Um, for the top here, I have our vintage um, Navy double face slim crew. I picked this one up today um, because I've been looking at it for like the longest time. I love the knit and uh, I've just been wearing it all day. It is hot. I low key have been sweating in it, um, but I love it. Like it's the, the greatest thing. Fits my figure quite nicely. I like how the arms bunch up. Um, for the belt, I have the seven millimeter, uh, thick brown belt cracked and patinaed as always in the pocket. We have the zebra F hyphen 701. I actually don't know the model. Tristan gave this to me a long time ago as a present. We traded, um, bandana for a pen for when he had left, um, cause he was gone for four months cause he was doing a internship. And um, so I hold it near and dear. He's back now, but just a little story behind it. And the, um, we'll wait for the announcement to be done. I have the Groovy Guy solid black selvage here. Very crispy, but I think maybe on Friday, last Friday, um, I'm loving him. Honestly, the greatest thing in the world. Uh, and you'll see why I'm saying that in a bit. And then we have the loafers. I'm getting new ones, so forgive how tattered they are. And um, that's me, that's me. Oh, no keychain though. No keychain? Yeah, yeah, Justin has my keychain because the store keys are attached to it. Remember that he's using my keychain, not his <laughs> little quirky his one. Key chain. All right, right let's, get, let's get Vinny behind here. Swap my over here. How's it going, y'all? Nothing too crazy, unlike last week. We got the steel gray upstock or upstate stock yeah. beanie or toque. We got the circular knit tee in black. And this time, the black seven millimeter uh, thick belt. That's for show, that's for show. The 11 ounce jeans and the emeralds. All right. Along with the emeralds, you know what I'm saying? What, what shoe is that? You're saying the emeralds, but, but what model <laughs> is that? I actually don't know. I just know these are Air Maxes. I think it's like the Air Max one. I'm not sure. I used to I'm not a shoe guy. I just saw these and I was like, well, those look yeah. sick. They're, they're All definitely right. not the 90s, but they're yeah. sick. They're sick regardless. All right, there we go. All right, humongous. Thank you for that, Vinny. So we all got our fit checks over here. As always, we also like to hear what you guys are wearing, what you have going on for the season. We do follow your stories on Instagram. Don't forget to follow us at our Instagram at Tate and Yoko. So I'm going to give you another update. What's going on in our warehouse? I'll tell you what's going on in the warehouse. It's Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. It's nonstop Jojo. We got Jojo for days. We got Jojo's walking out the door. And guess what? This 
Friday, we have more JoJo's. Three new JoJo's. One, two, three new JoJo's. Mm. Take a look at these JoJo's. We got JoJo's coming up my ears. So this Friday, we have the Josuke's, the Giornos, and the Jolines. My personal favorite, the Jolines. Personal favorite there. You know, I like the purple. You like the Jolines? I also like the purple. The purple here. Yeah. They got two purples one there. Let you know if anyone out there has got a Josuke there. I'm going to get some poor luck for Josuke over here. These lovely three jeans will be dropping this Friday at 11 a.m. Now, I want to say, I got to say this again. These are an extremely limited drop there. So we don't have a lot of sizes. I know for last week's drop, there are a couple, like four people, they didn't get what they're looking for. Um, we're sorry, you got to really sit there at like 11 o'clock, mash that F5, subscribe to the newsletter, get the auto notification, just sit there on your desk, ready to mash, uh, mash that at the cart button. Don't forget, if you're in the States, try uh, Naked and Famous Denim NYC. They also have a little bit of stock that we can help you out with. We also didn't buy any for ourselves. So, uh, like Terry was saying, super limited, we're super disciplined. We didn't buy any just because we got, we wanted you guys to have as many as possible. So just so y'all know, just so y'all know. Yeah, that's it. So, so unfortunately, for example, if you return to size, it didn't quite fit the way you wanted. We won't have a, um, it's highly unlikely that we're going to have like a larger size for you because these ones have gone out the door. However, that does mean if someone does return the size, you might be able to get a chance to grab one. So don't give up. Make sure you uh, click on that auto notification button on the product page and then you have your best chance of getting notified if someone happens to send one back and you can have your turn to grab one of these JoJo's. So that's it. We got JoJo, JoJo, JoJo walking out the door and we're going to go on to an extremely exciting collection over here. We're going to talk about the winners from last week's pick the day. So we have, as always, some fantastic like 10 on 10 comments. I love reading about what you guys say in the comments. Every time we read it, we print it out. Um, if you guys write so much, it doesn't fit on the comment page. Don't worry, we'll actually print it out. And that's happened to be the case this week where we had someone print an amazing, I'll say a story, an, an epic, a real saga of a comment to try and share with us. So I'm gonna talk about it. But first, I'm gonna go over the actual secret trivia question from last week, which was, what is the stand of Yoshikaga Kira? And the answer is actually three parts. He has three stands. So we had the Killer Queen, the Sheer Heart Attack, and Bites the Dust. And a number of you guys got it right. So a big congratulations to everyone who got it right. Uh, don't worry, we also give half points. So I want to talk a little bit about some of our winners here, because I would like to highlight not just one, but everyone over here. First of all, uh, sorry to interrupt. Can I have the key to the store? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta, gotta bring some G's on quick. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. So yeah, as we know before, the store is connected right here in the warehouse. So, you know, if you come to the store and you're looking for some jeans, we're going to send it right from the warehouse straight down to Tapanyopa in Montreal. We'll make sure you get the best service. But yeah, I have to highlight there. So also, we have some people calling out the word of the week from previous weeks, their favorite word, courgette. Thank you very much. You guys know who you are. But I have to highlight a couple of real champion, champion comments over here. So uh, both Neil from Japan and Jameson from... Uh, Oklahoma City, they both got all three answers right. They definitely knew all about their JoJo's. Um, they have some, you know, they're getting some for the jeans. There's stories about like bombs, great references. Man, like you guys gave me like an absolute epic answer. So I'm really happy. I'm going to be giving you guys both a special runner up prize here. So today we're giving away some pocket tees here. I pulled one out here. Take a look at this old pockets tea star sock here. This is not a design that we currently have right now. So you guys will be getting one of these. This is a beautiful old fabric there in our amazing circular knit pocket tee. So I hope you enjoy one of these. But for our special, 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 special winner, our grand prize, I have it over here. Jameson from Oklahoma City. I have your answer here and it's this big it's this big everyone is watching over here the actual page here i can't actually repeat the whole thing but this man has given me a script he's giving me an epic saga a story about his life he's talking about jojo here he's talking about a lot of stuff i can't actually say out loud out loud on this camera here today but um i'm happy for your enthusiasm and i'm very sorry for your family life and the <laughs> the odors that your partner has to do has to endure so for you our gentleman from Oklahoma City, we have a super, super special prize. 
not only are you ordering this amazing pair of Joseph True Guys, excellent choice, excellent choice. But to go along with that, we pulled out out of our archives a little bit of a dead stock, this absolutely fabulous Japan Festival Easy shirt. So this Damn, one is just jelly. glimmering here. Yeah, no, we had, I was holding this in the back for a special prize, for a special someone. So this order was fantastic. Uh, as always, you never know what the prize is gonna be. Maybe some weeks we do a couple of winners, some weeks we only do one. This is a fantastic little gift for a real super fan. You guys go above and beyond. And yes, we do read the comments, we share them around, and we do pop into the live stream from time to time. So you guys know who you are, we do appreciate you. Do appreciate you. Moving on, I'm going to talk a little bit about a pair of jeans that we have a super fan send in here. So I'm going to talk about another super fan, BD, BD from Ontario. You know who you are. We love you, BD. Everyone who tunes into the streams on Friday is going to see BD. He's a real regular and he has sent in these magnificent, magnificent jeans. So check these out. Check these out. I just want to talk about them real quick. These are beautiful. These are some Oak Amos Spirit 4s and BD. He has faded the ever loving bejesus out. You want to talk about these over here, Vincent? Oh, yeah. Sweet. So, the In Okayama Spirit 4 Indigos by a lovely fan, BD. You know, this is just a, it's a great pair overall. Fades are quite uniform. A little bit of high contrast, but still not like some of the other ones we've seen that look a little less wash, but overall I'm loving this. If I were to fade something indigo wise, I'd want it to be like this. And the reason it's so grainy is because it is a super slub. So like the slub is bigger, I guess, than you'd say than average. Yeah, definitely slubber than average. Oh yeah. Not your everyday slub. But um, as you can see, because this is a worn pair, you know, this is the Garrett. Garrett's not here, he's on vacation, but you if you know it. anything this about us, there was a chicken nugget in the oh, pocket. Oh, you left the Yo. chicken nuggets. So left the chicken nuggets in the pocket. <laughs> oh, BD there with the naked and famous lore. Oh yeah. So if you guys know about this, just know you were there from the start. Yeah, he's an OG. Let me get a And so let's start with the front fades here. I guess I'll put this on the scale. So if you'll follow me, I do this side actually. So here we have some very nice wear, very nice wear. Um, BD mentioned that there are a couple things on this pair that he really does enjoy that adds some uh, particular character. If you can see here, can you, can you see that? Like that little shape right there? That is an oval um, shape there from a rock that he had picked up in uh, Lake Superior. Uh, so you could see even inside the pocket that it was also in the coin pocket, I guess the whole time. And then it transferred onto here. And there's a little bit of a circle here from uh, his Tannery South um, leather wallet. I believe that's a circle, it's hard to see, but um, that's where it should be. You know, we got the whiskers here, great whiskers. Obviously there's been stuff in his pocket, so it's not as um, streaky or I guess high contrast as maybe the other side would be. As you can see, there's it's a little bit more prevalent. We have some great fades on the fly right here. And you can see right where the buttons are, one, two, three, that there's some good fading going on because of the stress that is put on these this particular pair. We're gonna flip these over quick to get those seat fades. Really nice uniform seat here. Looks like there's a little bit more wear on the right side pocket um very very streaky due to that slub and we have um a little bit more naked and famous lore here this patch was signed by brandon spark himself it can says beat the can we swear on this go Fuck for it, it. it says oh we'll, my we'll god sense it if we can it says beat the shit out of your jeans signed by brandon at a do till event um yeah so if you know brandon does sometimes go out to events and he does meet you guys uh, because, you know, we just love our community, so we're always happy to go out. We also have some wonderful repairs here. Wonderful. You can see due to the uh, high abrasion of, you know, maybe your thighs touching while walking or whatever activity you're doing, there is the uh, little repair there. And let me flip those inside out for you. 
So you can see a great repair here. Mm. Yeah, quite tasteful. Also quite used tasteful. some jeans if you can look really, really close. BD mentioned a repair above the top, one of the top, like the top of one of the back pockets. That has to be nearly the best repair I've ever seen in my life because I looked for it, really couldn't find it. Can't find it. Yeah, um, it was really, really hard. The other repairs that he had mentioned are all there, but I really could not find this one. Super, super difficult to find. He's an artisan, a master, a real denim connoisseur. Exactly, yeah. And on the back patch here, they have been worn for so long that you can see there's now the brown dye leaking out. So everything else is kind of like a creamy white, but here particularly where the patch is, it is brown. Then we're gonna go to the back of the knees here. Ooh, you gotta love this. Look at these honeycombs. Not the most prevalent honeycombs we've seen, but personally, honeycombs that I really like, probably my favorite so far. You can see here that they're leading to some of these fades along the inseam, which is a detail I haven't seen personally. I think it's really, really cool. You know, we have the fades here of what seems to be some calves. So, BD, I think you got some good calves on you, to be honest. If, a pair of legs. Yeah, exactly. Good. Some cycling legs, maybe? Who knows? Then back down here, you can see the double cuff that was done before because there's one line that is a distressed here. And we have some fraying here as well. BD said that he took some stitching to it to get darning done. Oh my God. Darning done as, uh, or as close to darning as is possible. But you know, I don't know if BD's uh, repairs jeans, but looks pretty good to me, honestly. Some of these repairs, I am astonished because it's really hard to see where the repairs might have been. On the inside, we have that roping going on. Just super tasteful. And I love how the roping are in particular parts. Um, you can really see the slub. I think it's really amazing. You've got fades on the selvage lines. You know, like this right here, I think is a great example to have on our wall of fades in regards to what a faded pair of denim is. We're gonna flip that boy back over again. Look at the knees here, worn out. I love it. We got one knee worn out a little bit more than the other. That would be the right knee. Still again, that slub really, really coming through, whether it's faded or whether it's not super faded, you still get that slub really, really awesome. So the backstory of these jeans though, these were worn from December 2020, I think to September 2023, if I'm correct. So just under three years. Um, these were washed 12 plus times from what BD told us and were worn for nearly everything. At the time, they were his most worn jeans. So he would wear them um, dog walking, um, trips to the office. So nearly anything he could wear them for, he would wear them. And it's prevalent in the fade that that was definitely true because truly, this is a tasteful fade, in my opinion. Truly tasteful fade. Oh yeah, and um, that's the Okayama Spirit 4, guys. So any Okayamas coming out, you can expect a great fade on it every single time. I've yet to see a, an Okayama submission that we've been given that hasn't been good. So, yeah, that's BD. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, BD. That's amazing. That, was, that was a top tier fade review from Vincent over there. Thank you very much for giving us the great lowdown on those amazing jeans given to us by the magical Mr. BD himself. So I also got to say, everyone over here, we have a special Turkey Day Canada edition Thanksgiving sale that mm -hmm. is actually live right now. It is live right now. So we have sales across the website. What's happened here? This is a little bit of a warm up sale for the big bad boy Black Friday. You guys know that one's coming. We have a little warm up Canadian Thanksgiving sale happening right now through the weekend. Uh, we're just gonna have a couple of new items shuffled around the website. We're gonna have some new items marked down, some existing markdowns, maybe marked down a little bit more. So I encourage you all to go to the website, investigate, check out the sale, see what's hot, and make sure to leave a comment for the special mystery word, which I will 
give you very shortly. So how are we doing for time? We got time for a, a little oh. something extra? Oh, we I definitely I think there's have something time. on Vincent's mind he's got to share. I got two things. I am sorry about the Jotaro Kujos, guys. Those sold out incredibly fast. I know some of you guys are upset and you know you guys really wanted it and you waited and you signed up for the for the newsletter. We appreciate you guys for being there. Um, but we couldn't control how fast they sold out. Like I, we anticipated that it would sell out fast, but not nearly as fast as it, as it did. So on behalf of us, like we hear you guys. We also wanted to buy it, but we didn't because of how how fast we, we anticipated it um, to sell. Secondly, I got a hot take today. Oh, did somebody say hot take? Oh, hot definitely, take. definitely. A lot, a lot of people are gonna say, well, Vince is contradicting himself. He wears blue jeans just because I do doesn't mean that it's my favorite. I personally think that Black Selvage is the best. Yes. Ah, uh, that's a shocker there. <laughs> yes. Hot take. It may not fade as fast, but if you've seen these YouTube videos, apart from the groovy guys, you know that I always wore this um, pair of strong guy, solid black selvage. Um, I think that is nearly the best fabric tied with the natural indigo selvage. Um, and as you can see, you cannot go wrong. It's so hard. If you wanna go out, if you wanna to go to the office, um, you wanna to go to a park, a picnic, um, family gathering, the black works with everything. It's, it's crazy. And in light of this day's, uh, or in light of today's fashion, everyone's doing the vintage. Everyone wants the faded black pair, the faded jeans. Oftentimes we get asked in the store, can I buy these faded jeans? Well, with the black ones, you can get that. Get it, it there right away. It's real nice. I think it's better than Indigo. A lot of people might disagree. Let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah, any, any questions there, Terry? Oh, any well, counters? You know, like, I can't, I cannot agree with Vincent's hot take here, but that's why I like it. We have a hot take. I'm just like, you know, through and through, you can say die to the bone, Indigo man. However, we love having a hot take here. So if you guys have some spicy opinions that you cannot keep to yourself, we want to hear about it. We're gonna do some hot takes here. So that's an amazing hot take from Vincent. Black jeans over blue jeans. Definitely. Oh, that's kind of spicy. Especially that's on the face, spicy. especially on the face. Like, don't oh. get me wrong. <laughs> BD, great fade. Some of the other indigo blue fades we had, the problem is that sometimes you really lose a lot of that indigo. But in my other pair, you've seen the strong guys that have the like distressing on the side for me crashing on this little loose trip that I was doing. You still get that black. You still get that look. It looks super gritty, goes with everything. And if you wear them at nighttime, it looks like it's brand new again. Sucks like it's brand new again. I so think, there you I go. That's great. Vincent's hot take over there. Black to the blue jeans. So we're going to wrap it up real soon. I'm going to go word of the day. But before that, I want to remind everyone again, we're doing again. We have a little Canadian Turkey Day sale coming right up right now, live right now. Check the website. And also, come over here. We have these JoJo's. We got these beautiful JoJo's. Look, quick sneak peek on a couple of JoJo related collecting cards and chocolate cookies. Uh, Brandon Leader Man himself brought frack from Japan just to get you guys all spiced up for these delicious, delicious, scrumptious JoJo's. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. And speaking of Bellissimo, that brings you right to a special word of the week from me over here, Terry. So I got a special word of the week. And like last time, it's going to be a bit of hot jojo trivia so i want to hear from you you guys are excellent at finding it last week how about this week so the jojo trivia for this week is what was giorno giovanna's dream i want to hear all about giorno giovanna's dream from jojo's bizarre adventure if you know the answer if you want to share more about the answer if you want to share all about your medical issues that trouble you <laughs> leave them in the comments below we love to hear it as always we'll choose a couple of the best prizes and hand out a special award to you and definitely talk about it again this friday with bayzad and risa on the live stream at seven o'clock p.m eastern time same time every place to catch them too they hope to hear about your stories so that's it for all we have a sale we got some jojos we got hot takes great fades and we'll see you all next time that was sick. <laughs>